So I totally forgot about the Alpha Investment $1,000 Flesh and Blood card. Now Flesh and Blood, according to people who are in the know, has been doing very well. It is not like MetaZoo. So I just decided, hey, it's probably time to check in on the card and see how, where it is. Is it $1,000? I believe uh, he did sell 1500 of them. Therefore, there is a video by Pleasant Kenobi where he made $1.5 million from selling Rudy promos. And there is there was a debate at the time. And now I can tell you that the Rudy promos are not worth a thousand dollars because when you look at sales data, again, understand that liquidity on this product is very difficult. You could put it on eBay and you might get only five hundred dollars for it, you might get nine hundred dollars for it, but you definitely not getting a thousand dollars. I have not seen an eBay or sold listing, uh, sold, sold, not asked, sold. I'll show you what this means a little later. I think there's a guy asking for over a million million dollars, probably over $10 million. But yeah, the Alpha Investments promo, people tell me Magic products are bad. I, yeah. Um, Magic products are really bad investments, in my opinion. Sealed products are incredibly bad investments if you're buying recent years. Because they're just going to be reprinted in a master, remaster set. And they're going to have all these same cards. But in a better, you know, obviously they want you to buy it. Here we have uh, this guy who bought it. And they're talking about PSA grading it. I'm still conflicted about this. But as a long-term patron, who, whoever gets a hold of it. It should be fine as a collectible and potential investment. So from the very get-go, you know, people are not spending a thousand dollars on a meme. They're spending a thousand dollars on Rudy's card. And God forbid, if Rudy stops making videos, the cards are be start st stops being relevant in the YouTube space. I think he's only really on YouTube. He doesn't Twitch. He doesn't live stream. Uh, it could be quite bad for the card value. Do you think he'll repurchase them if he gets graded 10 gem? No. Why would he? He has unlimited. I mean, he has so many of these, he started burning them and made the display. So it looks like this individual not only bought one, but bought two. And this is what these dumbass Rudy patrons are doing all the time. They're uh, Instead of buying one 6.9 box to see what's in it, they bought five. And I can... Tell you what's in it. MetaZoo play mines. MetaZoo to the moon. So this is probably one of the more horrific investments. Um, it's a lot easier to categorize. You can go on eBay yourself. You can do it. Two kits, how dare you? Yeah, I'm crying when I'm looking at my bank account information. Crying because of your bank account. Same, I understand. And I have to look away whenever the idea of bundle at the end of the month comes to mind. Haha, MetaZoo Nightfall is next on my list for the month. Uh, and here you have a person trying to get a million dollars for it. But as we learned, it is not what you asked for it. It is what it actually sells for. So a lot of times Rudy will confuse buy it now with being sold and completed. And that's very strange since he's been on eBay for so long. When he discusses Pokemon cards, often he confuses the median, the ask, which is never the going price, with the low. So why would you, if all booster boxes are the same, and, oh, here's one. So the anniversary kit sold for $800 on May 31st. On May 29th, it went down in price, even though it's a PSA 9. So we could argue that maybe the one on top is a, may, could be a PSA 10, but there's not any real stuff. I'm showing you all the listings on eBay. And only one of them have ever sold on TCG Player, and they only sold for four hundred dollars, four hundred maybe less than five hundred for certain. So the number again with a four. Here we have the whole kit on May fourteenth, selling for PSA ten, by the way, for nine eleven. So that's the best grade. So even if you graded it a perfect ten, 
So you paid money to get it graded. Maybe you even expedited it. So we're talking fifty, a hundred, two hundred dollars, depending on how fast you wanted it graded. And even that could not sell for over the ask price of a thousand dollars. We're talking about PSA ten could not sell. Uh, here we have another one, just raw at five hundred. We have just the card to to set um, at uh, five hundred. Uh, there might be other ones. I just realized Rudy spelled his name Rudy. The I, I thought it would be just Rudy. Um, but regardless, I mean, one bid on a $500 card, Flesh and Blood to the Moon. Flesh and Blood, by the way, is doing really well. A lot of things are selling very quickly, graded cards and so on. So it is definitely doing significantly better than MetaZoo. I tell you that much. MetaZoo is in the garbage right now. And here we have a listing. Again, you can see the market price. You can see what people ask. People always want to get their money back. But even if as an investment, let's just think about as an investment. If all you're doing is breaking even after a few years, that's not good. That is definitely not a great investment in my opinion. This has got to be one of the worst investments any Timmy can make. And multiple Timmy's apparently bought multiple copies of the kit because they were so excited for it. Now I'm going to show you something even more embarrassing is the liquidity. So again, you might say there's only 1,500 of them. I would argue, yeah, that had something to do with it, right? Um, but only one has ever sold. Uh, it was 420 as probably a joke uh, for $563. So even though people are listing it for a hundred, for almost upwards of a million dollars. It is not selling for that amount. It is selling for less than $1,000, as I've shown you multiple examples of it. And this has been after many years, and it hasn't really moved. Now, 6.9 is even in a worst-case scenario, but uh, we've covered that in great detail. We don't need to cover that no more. Anyway, uh, this, luckily for me, I didn't buy it, but uh, maybe you guys bought 10 of these because you thought it would go to the moon. I'm simply showing you that after fees and stuff, you'd be lucky to have 50% back. You'd be lucky, man. Anyway, worst investment ever. Let me know if you agree.